one of the shows I like to watch is It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. For those of you who don't know, it's the show that revolves around four, then soon five, very unlikable Philadelphia locals. But then I stopped and thought, why are these guys so unlikable? Then it hit me. They live in a city where they think fake yellow cheese makes a good sandwich ingredient. Listen, I like clogging my arteries, but I have standards. So that's why we're gonna make a Philly cheesesteak with homemade cheese whiz with real cheese. So I have here a one quart sauce pot, to which we'll add one 12 ounce can of evaporated milk and one and a half teaspoons of cornstarch. The reason why we're going with cornstarch and not a butterflower roux is because cornstarch, once thickened, has a smoother finish to it. And that's roughly the same texture with cheese whiz. In fact, in some countries, I don't think you're even allowed to call it cheese. Whatever, just whisk it in and bring it to a boil. Okay, our milk has thickened up. Turn the heat to low. And yeah, look, I know it doesn't look that thick. That's the cheese job. But uh, before we do, uh, let's season this a bit. Let's add half a teaspoon of paprika. All right, and now we can get to our cheese. Or should I say cheese ziz? Because a good cheese sauce makes up more than just one type of cheese. Let's add a quarter cup of Parmesan. And the best for last, let's add eight ounces of sharp cheddar by weight. And, uh, we want a nice smooth cheese sauce, so don't add everything at once. Just do a handful at a time. Let's give it a taste test. It uh, tastes awful, but that's because I forgot to add this. One teaspoon of salt. All right, let's give it a taste test now. It needs a bit more cheddar, but here's the thing. Adding it would thicken the sauce and the sauce is way too thick as it is. So let's just add a little bit of milk to thin it out. Perfect. Next up, the steak part. I have here on this plate, one pound of thinly sliced ribeye. Now you want your steak thinly cut against the grain like this. A thing a lot of YouTube chefs haven't been doing instead of cutting their steak with the grain. But hey, at least some top YouTube chefs are now cutting their steak against the grain. Hmm, I wonder what could have happened. Oh, and uh, you might have noticed that I've uh, kind of gave everything a rough chop. Normally, you were supposed to chop everything up on a giant flat top grill, but I don't have that. Anyway, grab yourself a medium sized nonstick pan. Set that over medium high heat. Let's add a teeny bit of cooking oil. Okay, once the oil heats up, let's add in our steak. and half an onion diced. Mm. All right, try to break up the multiple layers of steak. This is important. Season everything with salt and pepper. Okay, our onions are nice and brown and the meat's cook. Turn off the heat. Grab yourself a hoagie bun. Make sure you open it up clamshell style and plate up. And finally, drench everything in our cheese whiz. And here we go, folks. A Philly cheesesteak made with real cheese whiz. I swear, if Philly food was more like this, the cast of It's Always Sunny would still be unlikable jerks. But hey, at least Charlie would have some good taste buds. Um, how about your favorite food? What would that be? Oh, milk steak. Hmm. Mm -hmm. What? Oh, I'm sorry. I meant steak au pois. Eh, you know, they take a steak, they cover it in pepper, and uh, 
sear it off, and they make a and they make a cream sauce from the drippings. Yeah, that's what I meant by milk steak. You know what? We'll just make it all up. We'll make the whole we'll, thing up. We'll dock get it a out picture. Of we'll make it up. Yeah, we're, we're not even gonna use it. This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun and meaning it this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and support me on Patreon. Honestly, I prefer provolone cheese to cheese whiz. But hey, at least the homemade stuff is better than the store-bought stuff.